West Coast Express is the first commuter railroad in the Vancouver region and the first Canadian commuter railroad to commence operations during the commuter rail renaissance, a time period starting from the late 1980s when commuter rail routes throughout North America were started. This railroad consists of a single 43 mile long route from Vancouver Waterfront Station to Mission City, British Columbia and rosters F-59 PHIs and Bombardier bi-level coaches and cab cars. In addition to this regularly used fleet, the railroad also rosters a single MPI MP36 PH-3C as a backup locomotive and the only locomotive of its variants in Canada. As a relatively new commuter rail agency in Canada, engine 906 is often used to swap out F-59s for routine maintenance and to stand in as a new backup during times of need. One of the most successful concepts of a startup commuter project is running along an existing right-of-way. This way, there will be little to no expense of construction involved, with the possible addition of another track for easy flow of passenger freight traffic on the route. It was because of this convenience that numerous commuter rail proposals throughout the 1990s were approved while serving growing cities by providing needed frequent service from select suburbs to metropolitan hubs. In the case of Vancouver, their answer to a new commuter rail system came towards the beginning of the commuter rail renaissance in the early 90s with West Coast Express. After figuring out which right-of-ways to utilize for the route, specifically negotiating between CP Rail and Burlington Northern, construction began for stations and a few upgrades along the route in 1994, as service officially began only a year later on November 1st, 1995. Ever since its start of service, West Coast Express sees five morning westbound runs to Vancouver and five evening eastbound runs to Mission during weekdays. Appropriately, the commuter HC rosters a total of five EMD F-59 PHIs, number 901 to 905, and a necessary amount of bombarder by level coaches and cab cars for the five daily round trips. However, another component to having a successful rail service is having some sort of backup rolling stock to swap out the regular fleet with if there was a problem with one of the pieces of rolling stock or locomotives. West Coast Express was lacking in this aspect, as they only had five train sets with a locomotive, a few coaches, and a cab car. Yet there was an increasing demand for the commuter service and West Coast Express had to lease coaches from GoTrans, which were transported all the way from Toronto. This led to a fleet expansion procurement in 1999 for more Bombardier bi-level coaches, which solved the problem of capacity, but not for locomotive shortages. If one of the five F-59s on their roster broke down, that left at least one train set and round-trip train stranded without an efficient passenger locomotive. Now, the commuter agency wasn't initially unprepared to handle the issue, as the original locomotive procurement in 1994 was for six locomotives, but was reduced to five when General Motors, the most expensive option, was selected to build them for $3.3 million per locomotive, thus having the need for a sixth locomotive often on the commuter railroad's mind. To solve this problem, West Coast Express eventually decided to look for a spare locomotive, their engine 906, as the newest locomotive to the roster. Sounder F-59 PHI number 906 was leased by West Coast Express for a few years to step in as a backup whenever an F-59 in their existing fleet stalled. Sounder 906 wasn't the only leaser unit which West Coast Express rostered, as they often borrowed a wide variety of Via Rail locomotives and even CP Rail locomotives. Whenever the latter was used, passengers would complain of the freight engine's loudness. These leases were used for some years as the original procurement for a spare locomotive was constantly held off since 1999 and was overshadowed by other matters of TransLink, the new commuter agency which ran West Coast Express. Finally, the issue of purchasing a spare locomotive was raised in May 2005, where TransLink officials approved the spending of over $5 million for a permanent spare locomotive so that they wouldn't have to lease VIA and Sounder locomotives on a month-to-month -month basis. As a side note, TransLink couldn't simply purchase an F-59 PHI from GM as they stopped production of the locomotive in 2001. Considering this, West Coast Express went to Motive Power Industries, or MPI, who started production of their first series of passenger locomotives known as the MP Express. The variant of this series which the railroad was interested in was the newest and soon to be most numerous MP36 PH-3C, with MP standing for Motive Power, 36 standing for 3600 horsepower, P standing for passenger locomotive, H standing for head and power, and the 3C standing for the Caterpillar C27 AGP generator. Seeing the success of the variants on Caltrain, MPI was willing to produce one locomotive for West Coast Express as their official engine 906. As the locomotive arrived in Vancouver in late December of 2006, it also set a number of records. It was the first locomotive ordered by TransLink for use on West Coast Express, the first locomotive ordered since West Coast Express began service in 1995, 
the first and so far only locomotive on the roster to be built in the US, the first and to this day only MP36PH-3C in Canada, the first MPX Express in Canada in general, and the first locomotive built by MPI to run in Canada. After a few weeks of testing, 906 entered service in early 2007 and would often be swapped with F59s that needed maintenance and finally solved the railroad's problem of having a sixth locomotive for backup. Other than the occasional supplement for F59s, this locomotive would eventually gain a bit more fame outside the Vancouver region when it was represented with HO and N gauge models along with a few RMP Express locomotives from Cato and True Line trains. As this locomotive continues to step in and pull commuters when F59s can't, 906 prevents its equipment shortages on the road as a needed and modern spare locomotive for regularly scheduled passenger trains of the West Coast Express. Thank you all for watching this episode of Remarkable Engines. This engine was brought in to solve a frequent problem of a new commuter railroad, all standing out as different from the existing locomotive fleet. Ironically, it was a type of locomotive that is common with most other American commuter railroads that is unique to the roster as it's the only variant of its kind in not only West Coast Express, but as well as all of Canada. To this day, the unique identity of 906 as a needed spare and for claiming many firsts for the nation of Canada makes this little known engine stand out in Canadian railroading history. Thank you again for watching, credit for all the photos used go to their respective photographers, and stay tuned next time when I cover Escanaba and Lake Superior 600. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more. Have a good day.